This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. You can find a lovely illustrated HTML version of this story if you'd like to read along and look at the pictures. Just visit Gutenberg.org slash e-text slash one zero four six nine and just click the html link on that page johnny crow's garden a picture book drawn by l leslie brook first edition nineteen o three to the memory of my father who first told me of johnny crow's garden and to my boys for whom i have set on record these facts concerning it johnny crow's garden Johnny Crow would dig and sow, till he made a little garden. And the lion had a green and yellow tie on, in Johnny Crow's garden. And the rat wore a feather in his hat, but the bear had nothing to wear, in Johnny Crow's garden. So the ape took his measure with a tape, in Johnny Crow's garden. Then the crane was caught in the rain, in Johnny Crow's garden. And the beaver was afraid he had a fever, but the goat said, It's nothing but his throat, in Johnny Crow's garden. And the pig danced a jig, in Johnny Crow's garden. Then the stork gave a philosophic talk. Till the hippopotami said, Ask no further what am I, While the elephant said something quite irrelevant, And the goose, well, the goose was a goose, In Johnny Crow's garden. And the mouse built himself a little house, Where the cat sat down beside the mat, In Johnny Crow's garden. And the whale told a very long tale, in Johnny Crow's garden. And the owl was a funny old fowl, and the fox put them all in the stocks, in Johnny Crow's garden. But Johnny Crow, he let them go, and they all sat down to their dinner in a row, in Johnny Crow's garden. Goodbye. The End Read by Kara Schallenberg www.kray.org On Monday, July 24th, 2006 In Oceanside, California